So I'm going to be real with you on this one. I am still mad at Radio Master for not releasing this before I got into the hobby. I remember my first flight with an unbelievably uncomfortable Tyrannix QX7. And learning how to fly using it, I thought I'd never be able to use a radio with full-size gimbals. So I picked up a Radio Master TX12. And before long, I outgrew it and made the trade for a Jumper T16. And guess what? It was bigger than I cared for. And right about that time I did that was when the Radio Master Boxer was released. And, well, I wanted that. Now the reviews were unbelievably positive and FOMO kicked in. The day my Jumper T16 messed up at a race, I ordered the Boxer ELRS version right then and there. It came and I began to make it mine. Now over the past year, I've used and abused it, so in the end, was it worth it? Short and sweet, yeah, it was, but it's not perfect. See, right off the bat, I stuffed my ghost module and set up the models and off to the races I went, literally. But it didn't take long to swap out those stock sticks with some 533 rip sticks and add my own grip tape to it. Now, both are purely up to the pilot, and I love having grip tape on my transmitters, and I originally made a bracket to hold my handle off of the Jumper T16, but have since switched back to the fabric handle since it fits in my bag better that way. Now, a real quick rundown on what I don't like about the radio. I get it, most people start with what they do like. Let's start with what I don't like. See, I don't like the buttons on the shoulders. I personally like switches way more and I don't even use those for anything, so they're kind of useless for me. Although, I have considered doing the latching switch to toggle mod that Lamone did in his video, but I'm lazy. The stock stick ends are nasty, nasty to me, and I tried using them because I love the gimbal protector that came with the boxer, but just couldn't get the hang of it. Thankfully, someone made a model of the protector that I modified to fit my ripstick, so I'm now a happy camper. Oddly enough, I don't like the fabric handle. Maybe I wouldn't mind it as much if I never used something like my ghost module, but I really don't like not having support back there for when I set it down. Now, I do wish the stock antenna was more like the Radio Master Pocket and folded down, but it's easy enough to mod a smaller antenna solution on here if I wanted to, but again, I'm lazy. I also don't like having two USB ports. I really did like my TX12 charging while simming, but, you know, that's a minor gripe. But what about the things I do like? Now, I like the simple screen that doesn't suck down the battery at record pace. I love the hall sensor gimbals, and after getting the AG01 minis for my TX12, I don't give two turds for changing these out. The AG01s are nice, but I've used them, and they're not really going to make me a better pilot, so I'll put my money elsewhere. The switches across the top are spot on with my flight style. The left top is to arm, and the right top is turtle mode. One for pit mode, and the other for nothing. It Set my center whoop where I hit angle mode with air mode disabled for easy landings, but that's just a personal preference thing. The other thing I didn't expect to fall in love with is the ELRS internal module. My number of quads running Ghost have dwindled greatly and ELRS with HD0 is great and it all started when I put ELRS on my Walksnow quads. And since then, it's kind of taking over. Another love is 100% the battery life. I never had to worry about it at this past year's International Open, and all day battery during race days is just pure joy. When you see other people switching batteries out mid races, it's like, hey, why? So, would I recommend the Radio Master Boxer? 10 out of 10 times, I would. This is the longest running piece of gear in my bag, and I've not even considered looking elsewhere since buying it. It's great for beginners and experts alike, and if you need more than what the Boxer offers, then you probably already know that, and if you're on the fence between this and other comparably priced transmitters, then I'd personally recommend taking a shot at this one first. Now, thanks for joining in, and I'll catch you in the next one, and until then, stay airborne.